got some new shoes. Oh yeah. So we got some new disciples with us. We got some world travelers return to us. And then we got the rest of us that have just been here, right? Well, welcome to all of you this morning. How are you all doing? Alright, so it's getting pretty exciting. The countdown is on, right? How many days of school left? Two, three, five. Five. Really? You lucky duck. Alright, well, we've got a, a few different numbers, but the days are, are winding down, aren't they? Anybody got any fun plans for the summer? What are those things? Going camping. Swimming. All right, anybody else got any fun things they're gonna do? Yeah. Dancing? I dance. You dance? I bet you're pretty good at it too. You're going camping, yeah. What about you guys way down at the end? You got anything fun planned? Oh, perfect! That's the best response ever. Yes, so we all come and join for joining us. I did something else tomorrow. What are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, no, it was tomorrow. Oh. So, uh, I thought the plan thing was on the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I have a question for you, and I know school's almost over, but have you, and even for those of you that maybe aren't in school, have you ever seen somebody that has just kind of sat by themselves at school? Maybe they don't have very many friends. They sit alone at the lunch table. Or maybe when, they, maybe when they're out playing, they just have a toy and they sit all by themselves and, and they don't really play with anybody else. Have you ever seen anybody like that? Yeah, I think most of us probably have. So, Today, um, the Bible story that we're going to look at, look at is about Jesus, and he comes and he meets this woman at the well. And back in Jesus' time, this woman is not a person that very many people would ever talk to. Okay? And yet Jesus takes the time and he gets to know this woman, and he, I think, really touches her heart in a special way. Okay? And so I want to tell you a story today about an experience I had. And I just told this story to my kids a little while ago. But, you know, sometimes having friends and creating friends is really hard. Okay? And sometimes people at our schools and stuff, they don't have the really good families that some of us have. And so things are really hard for some of these kids. And so some of the way they respond is to just be by themselves. So I want us to, to be like Jesus in the story and, and be willing to go and and share God's love with people that maybe don't have a lot of friends, okay? So when I was in like third or fourth grade, um, I got the opportunity to do a, a project. And the project was we had to create little booklets on Native American tribes. And so we had to do some research and describe how the Native Americans lived. And then we had to draw a bunch of pictures about the place that they lived, okay? And... So as we got to pick our partners, um, I just kind of felt God kind of touched my heart and say, Josh, I need you to go work with this, this guy over here. Now, I was a pretty popular guy in, in school, so I had a lot of good friends, a lot of smart friends that I could have done this project with, okay? And yet the very person that I felt God was kind of pushing me to go work with was someone that always got in trouble. He never did his homework. He was always getting sent to the office because he wasn't following the rules and listening to the teacher. And quite honestly, I, I didn't even know if he'd even do the project with me. Okay? And yet, I signed up to, to go do this project with him. And we, we put our booklet together, and you know what we got for a grade? A B minus. Okay? Now, I got pretty good grades at that time, so that was kind of hard for me to take because if I would have worked with 
some of my other friends, the friends that I normally hung out with, I probably would have gotten to eat. But you know what that, what that boy did? After he saw his grade, he raised his hand and he told the teacher, teacher, you know what? This is the best grade I have gotten all year long. And you know what? His attitude changed. And he started trying to work a little bit harder. And yeah, he still made some bad decisions and whatever. But I really believe that because I was willing to go and work with him when a lot of other people weren't, that I got to have a positive influence on his life in that moment. Okay? And this is exactly the same thing that Jesus does in the story with this woman. Because this woman doesn't make all the right choices. And yet God goes and shares his love for her and he sees her heart for what it really is. And he has a very positive effect on her life, okay? So I know you don't have a lot of days left of school, but can you maybe try to be friends with someone that doesn't have a lot of friends? Or maybe if you're in the lunchroom and I, maybe some of you guys have assigned tables and you don't have a lot of room to move, but maybe if you see somebody sitting off all by themselves... Maybe you take your lunch over there and go sit with them and talk with them and be nice with them. Or maybe this summer while you're out at the beach or at the park playing or swimming and you see someone just not have a lot of friends, maybe you invite them to come and play with you for a little bit, okay? And you be a positive role model and influence in their life. Can you do that? All right. Awesome. Let's pray and then you can go back and sit with your moms and dads and family. So dear gracious God, we just thank you for these young disciples. And Lord, we thank you for the work that you're doing in their lives. And we thank you for the faith that we see growing and maturing. Lord, right now, we just pray that you would open their hearts to be good friends and to be friends to those people that sometimes aren't very easy to be friends with. But Lord, you call us to love them and to reach out and to be a positive influence in their life. And so we pray that these young disciples will have the courage to go and do that. Lord, be with them today as they worship with us and keep them safe through the rest of this school year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, go back and have a seat.